Hi, and thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. This is our fourth installment of a wonderful series uh, on Medicare and health insurance. And uh, uh, Art and I are just having a wonderful time with Aaron Zolrod, who's an expert in this and has been giving us terrific information. Uh, I don't know how many videos we're going to end up doing, but you've got to watch them all uh, because everyone is a gem. Uh, and Art, you uh, you had a particular favorite in our list, and I think this is it, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, they all have chock full of information, but uh, this one, I've actually seen bits and pieces of it before when I originally met Aaron. And uh, uh, he's no shrinking violet, if you've watched any of the other uh, episodes. But uh, this one, uh, he may get a bit animated, and it's a lot of fun. So this is the really entertaining version of all of them. Uh, Aaron, uh, we're going to have fun with this one, aren't we? We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. Yes, we are. I'm going to get a little, I might get a little pissed off. Can I say that? Yeah, sure. Since we're not, there's no FCC or whatever, but yes, it, this is, this is, this is something that um, the advertising and, and the predatory nature of Medicare is, is, is very bothersome to me. Okay. Bothersome. So everybody put on your seatbelt. Go ahead, Aaron. Make it happen. <laughs> So, you know, we talked about the two types of, of, of plans, right, in the last episode, advantage plans and supplements. And one thing we, 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 I mentioned was how much commission brokers like myself get paid to sell the advantage plans. Um, I'm gonna just going to be straight out and tell you, if I meet somebody who's turning 65 and I sell them an advantage plan, one person now, I get paid $750 up front. And then I make $375 every year that they renew it forever. So if they have that plan for 20 years, I am making a ton of money off of one person. Okay. Supplements, on the other hand, they pay us a percentage of a premium. Premiums start out about 80 bucks and they pay us 20%. And they trickle in. I get 16 bucks a month. And after five years, they don't pay us anymore. So you can see the money how that is going to influence how brokers, what brokers may recommend. And obviously there's so much profit in it for the insurance companies um, and the agencies that it really has caused a lot of problems. Um, and I'm, I'm going to just tell it like it is. Our seniors are being preyed upon and it's not by people selling supplements because you don't see advertisement for supplements. You don't see them. You know, I know AARP advertises for supplements. They're the only company that advertises. And for every, and, and it's probably one advertisement for every 10 that they have for Advantage plans. And when you see Jimmy Walker and Joe Namath and Joe Montana and um, Billy Shatner and whatever other washed up actor or entertainer or professional athlete that they get to pitch these things, um, you know, you guys, Art called them yesterday's um, entertainers. I got a much worse name for them. Um, you know, they're equivalent to ladies of the night. That's the name I would use, you know, the slang for ladies of the night. That's what I would call them. That wow. they are literally accomplices in senior citizens being preyed upon. That's what they are. That these people are advertising 800 numbers, right? Call for your zip code. What are you talking about? You know, and these terrible, I got, I found out that I, you know, should have gotten this or that. And they advertise you could get $165 back in your social security check. Well, that's only for people who qualify for medical assistance, which are people who basically make less than $1,300 a month, which is almost nobody who qualifies for that. You know, they're advertising all this stuff and all they're, all they're trying to do is they're trying to get the most naive seniors um, to call an 800 number, that number is going to be, that phone call is going to be transferred to a boiler room with a salespeople in other states who could care less about anything than churning a commission. That's it. They will tell any lie, any story, and fabricate anything they can to get that person to change their insurance company. And I can tell you story after story of how it happened. Um, 
there is no one there's almost no integrity for those people who work those boiler rooms um and uh, you know we've personally seen more clients get talked out of their good plans especially supplements in the last year to two years than we have in the other 13 years i've been doing this combined and it's because of joe namath joe montana billy shatner um they should be ashamed of themselves um you know they're just scoundrels um they should know i hope somebody tells them how many tens or hundreds of thousands of seniors have fallen victim um i'm going to give you two examples this past year during annual election period we have a lady come in she's panicking she's got cancer she's just getting bills for chemotherapy in the thousands of dollars we sold her a supplement supplement again is a medigap policy designed to pay all the bills that medicare doesn't She's going through chemo. She's got this supplement. She gets no bills whatsoever. Everything's paid for 100%. She doesn't need authorizations to get her chemo, to get biopsies, to get scans. None of it. Her doctor wants her to have a surgery. She gets it the next day. She comes in crying with bills. Well, it turns out her friend had talked her into coming over to a house and letting some guy from Ohio drove two hours from Ohio to Southwest Pennsylvania to talk her into taking an HMO. She told us that he said, she told her that her coverage would be exactly the same, only it would cost less and she would get all this free stuff, dental and vision and over-the-counter services and the gym membership and blah, blah, blah. Well, he talked to cancer, somebody fighting cancer into taking an HMO that it gave her that ended up costing her thousands of dollars. And guess what? Supplements are medically underwritten. When you leave in, in 42 states, including Pennsylvania, when you leave an advantage plan to go back to a supplement, you have to go through underwriting, meaning you're going to be asked a series of medical questions. And if you can't answer them all, no, they're not taking you. If you've had certain forms of cancer, if you got a have AFib, if you have um, autoimmune disorders, if you have insulin dependent diabetes, if you have emphysema or COPD, no supplement will take you. No supplement will take you. So that is one um, situation, again, where people are being preyed upon. I'm going to go back to these advertisements, the 800 numbers. Had another client come into my, come into my office uh, last year, crying, again, crying. She's got a $6,600 bill for a pacemaker she had replaced. Well, we had her on an Advantage plan, an HMO that was $25 a month, where an outpatient surgery, having that pacemaker replaced would cost her $225, okay? She calls the 800 number to check her zip code. Guy gets on the phone. Oh, you're paying too much money. Here's a plan that's going to refund you $60 back in your, of your Social Security, of your Medicare Part B premium. You don't need to be paying $25. Leads her to believe that everything exactly the same only she's just going to be $85 a month better off. Not only is she not going to pay 25, she's going to get 60 refunded um, of her Social Security, of her Medicare Part B premium. Well, guess what he failed to tell her? That that outpatient surgery, instead of having a $225 copay, came with a 20% of the billable amount. 20% of the billable amount for her pacemaker was 66 hundred dollars okay this poor lady she came in crying i knew i should have contacted you i'm so embarrassed that i did this i had to call up the hospital and put her on a payment plan because she's living on twenty two thousand dollars a year income john and art and i had to put her on a payment plan four years she was going to pay 120 something dollars a month to this hospital for four years to pay off that debt all because she called an 800 number in some we jag off. That's our Pittsburgh term. In case anybody didn't know, some jag off uh, talked her into this so he could make 350 bucks. And um, and and Joe Namath is Joe Namath started it. Uh, it's his fault. Um, and it's it's the boiler rooms. It's these agencies that don't care about seniors and what's best for them. That all they care about is a commission. Um, and it, it's disgusting to me. Um, and and that's. That's how it works, guys. Stay away from those 800 numbers. Now, am I correct? There's really nothing anybody can do about that except warn people and, and spread the word? 
There are some, so in that lady, thank goodness she's a client of ours and came in to see us because again, we, we are always gonna protect our clients and advocate for them. There is sometimes you can, so what we did was we made a complaint to Medicare. Obviously she was lied to um, she, and she was giving a special election period or a guaranteed issue based on an agent's um, you know, misleading tactics. We caught her soon enough that she could do that. But if we wouldn't have caught her quickly, she would have been, she would have been stuck. And, and that's different. And that's different. I mean, it may, she was lucky that she had you as an advocate because had it happened in many other states or places, uh, and they didn't have somebody like you to fight for them, right. they would have been lost. Yeah, she called the insurance company and said, "Sorry, you're stuck." You know, she came in to see us, and we 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 figured out a way to get her back on her supplement. But she still had all those bills. She right. still had thousands of dollars in bills that she had to pay, um, because she had chemo, and it's twenty percent of the cost. And if your chemo is 15 grand, you pay 3,000 with yeah. an advantage plan. With a supplement, it's zero. And so, um, again, I'm going to sound like I'm anti-advantage plan. I'm not. Again, I'm pro-education and pro-information, and you need that information in order to make these decisions. Um, and, uh, you know, how do you protect yourself? That's a little more difficult if you're a senior, you know, in your 80s living at home, you know, and, and, and sometimes... We're not thinking, you know, we have some cognitive issues at that age. Um, I met, a, I met a, a lady who said her dad changes every, every two months. He's getting his plan changed because he keeps calling those 800 numbers and keeps calling them. And no matter how many times she tells him to not do it, he does. Um, and so, you know, we have to really look out for our neighbors and friends and family members and aunts and uncles and parents. And what you have to do is just remind them over and over again, never, ever give your Medicare claim number out. Ever, because that's all they need. They get your birth date, your claim number, Medicare number, and your address. They can enroll you in a plan without your consent or knowledge. Um, and they're doing that. So number one, never give out your Medicare claim number. Number two, you really should be checking your neighbors, friends, families, aunts, uncles, parents, cards. Yeah. Show me what you're showing at the doctor. And if they pull out cards and one's a supplement and one's an HMO, there's something wrong. If they pull out cards and there's two HMOs or PPOs or one of each, there's something wrong. Yeah. And they could, because you can only have one or the other. You can only have a supplement or an advantage plan. You can't have both. And you can only have one advantage plan at a time. And so you, you just have to check those and, and check on your, your, your friends and neighbors and, and make sure they're not being victims. Because yeah. I'm telling you guys, we're talking tens, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of seniors who are being preyed upon in this manner. Yeah. What a shame. What well, well, you you have it. You didn't disappoint. Um, <laughs> in fact, this was a. I only saw a short version of it. So your passion is actually there. Uh, but um, in all fairness, because you keep saying uh, that uh, you want to have an, uh, provide information, and uh, correct. Uh, we in some upcoming episodes, while you're going to be talking about the pros of supplements, you're also going to be talking about the pros of advantage plans. And why they might might make sense, even though right. uh, they right. uh, you don't like the way they're being advertised and sold. But there are some that make sense for individuals, and I don't want to steal the thunder from that episode. But yeah, that will be have, coming we up shortly. We have four thousand clients on advantage plans. Right. Now we have seven thousand on supplements, and we but we have four thousand on advantage plans, which tells you they play a, a role, an important role. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's important. I think it's important that they do exist. I think it's very good that they do exist. The problem is. The industry has been bastardized a little bit or not a little bit, a lot. And there's too many unscrupulous agents running around. And, and, and it's because there's it's because there's so much money involved, you know, and I hate the fact that that some of us, you know, you know how used car salesmen have that reputation of being liars, cheaters and thieves. Yeah. And, 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 and they're doing that and they're making us all look bad. They're, ma they're making the ones that those of us who do it the right way. They're making us all look bad. They're giving the, they're giving the industry a bad name and I hate it. Um, and you know, if I ever catch an agent doing, you know, I call them and I just, I just rip them up and down and, 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 you know, do whatever I can to, 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 to make sure it doesn't happen again. One thing I got to say, if you're a victim of this, you need to take the time to make a complaint to Medicare, because that's the only way to get rid of these people. You have to make a complaint. You have to do it, you know, and, and make sure it gets done. And the problem with that is it's an hour on hold to call Medicare and it's probably another 45 sure. minutes or an hour to file that complaint. Yeah. So people don't want to do it sometimes. Yeah. You know, this is a, a very uh, 
very important issue because as we get older, it's not necessarily that we lose our facility or, you know, the fog of age. It's just this is a hugely confusing um, issue. And, and we, that's why we're doing a, a multi-part series of videos, because it's hard to explain. Somebody tells you something, you don't know the difference. You, and, and you can try to do the, the research to find it, but you really need to have help. You really need people with, uh, with expertise like yourself to rely yeah, on, and, you know, not a television a good, commercial. Yeah, I mean, if, you know, if we can't help you in the state that you're in, find somebody who you can trust. Um, you know, the thing I will tell you is you want a broker. You want somebody that sells multiple companies. Um, you want you want to make sure that they sell both supplements and advantage plans and part D, mm -hmm. all of them. And if you don't get a good fuzzy feeling about them, then move on to the next person and find one that 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 cares. Um, because there's so many, you know, people that are blinded by the money. Yep. Um, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, and, and, so and I think easy, so, yeah. so easy to be fooled. Yeah, I think the big uh, the big takeaway here is that uh, uh, we as seniors, as uh, uh, second actors, as Celebration Act Two uh, generation, um, we remember all these um, uh, stars, uh, sports and TV stars uh, from good times, and they they were well, a, there's a, a reason a part why of our life. Guys, and what right? it is is that we're taking many of us are being taken in by the fact that I like Joe Willie, a Broadway Joe, or Dino Mai, or uh, yeah. uh, anybody else that you see there. But all they are is a lead to get you into a boiler room and, and getting a scam. There are reasons I have advantage plans. We're going to be uh, talking about them later on. But thank you. And uh, I, was, I was actually waiting for you to jump out of your chair, uh, but <laughs> you, you didn't do it this time. But I'm I think you, again, you, the, you told the, the story. So it's going to I'm going to get angry again when we talk about lobbyists and in, in, in big pharma. I'm going to get angry again. If you enjoyed okay. watching me get angry, tune in for episode 10. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our web page, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.